Milky Way. Yeah. If I ever get a sponsorship from you guys, I'm gonna die. Diabetes. Not, uh, uh, you know, diabetes. Not diabetes. told me four years ago that Nintendo was going to release another console after the Wii U that was going to be a smash hit and break record, sales record, I probably would have laughed at you. I probably would have said something along the lines of, uh, the, Wii U, the Wii U was a flop and uh, Nintendo's never coming back from that. But here we are in 2019 going on 2020, we're approaching the third anniversary of the Nintendo Switch and it is a smash hit selling well over 40 million units, surpassing the Xbox One sales records, and it's still going strong. I never would have thought that a Nintendo Switch would actually be considered as my primary console. Even, you can go back for my next-gen videos when I said that the Nintendo Switch was a great secondary console. Even now, that has changed my mind. The, the Switch has changed my mind. It is my, my primary, and everything else is my secondary. There's so many reasons I could go into as why that is, but that's not the point of this video. The point of this video is actually to go through the top five things I want in 2020 from the Nintendo Switch, or from Nintendo. With that said, let's jump into the top five things that I want from the Nintendo Switch in 2020. First on this list is one that's a given, pretty much an unspoken, and everyone on YouTube has been echoing this for the past year and a half, and that is a Switch Pro. Now, the Switch itself is a great little console. It is a, a hybrid between handheld and a console at home, home console that you can play on the TV by sliding into, into the dock. That is an excellent, excellent concept. And especially for someone like myself who is on the go all the time, has a family, has a job that keeps me on the run, uh, the Switch, it just fits into my lifestyle so well. But it is lacking in the graphics department. It is on the, the lesser, it is the weakest of the three consoles now between the PlayStation, Xbox, and the Nintendo Switch. But the Nintendo Switch is still close enough in power that we're still getting some of those third-party games, you know, scaled down for the Switch. Just imagine this, a Switch Pro that could do 1080p in handheld mode and maybe 1440 on the TV, getting close, you know, upscaled to 4K possibly. Uh, maybe it has two to three teraflops of power in a handheld system. It would do so much for the Nintendo Switch because with the new consoles coming out next next holiday season, we've got the PS5, we've got the Xbox One, or X, I'm sorry, the Xbox Series X coming out next, next holiday season. There needs to be a, a, a bridge built from this generation to the next generation so that Nintendo isn't left behind without the third-party support. A Switch Pro would give them the power and the ability to stay up with the crew and with the crowd. Uh, people get these bigger third-party games using more power on the new systems. A Switch Pro would still make it easier for those developers to downscale it for the Switch. Next up on the list is something, another pretty much unspoken across the board on YouTube, and that is better online services. The Nintendo Switch is a great console with great games and great online games, but the actual online service itself is leaves a lot to be desired. We all been in those Smash Brothers games where it just feels a little bit laggy because you have one person who has a terrible internet connection, like me, and that slows down the entire game, puts the game in slow motion mode, and it's fun for a minute, but then it's come really annoying near the end. So better online services, better connections, better servers, if they can just fix that problem, then I think we would have tons of more people coming to the Nintendo Switch for their primary gaming needs. Third on the list, I have something that I haven't heard a lot of from everybody else, and this is starting to get into more of my opinions on these top three items. Uh, is new Joy-Cons. The Joy-Cons are great and all, but they're flat and they cannot, they're not very comfortable for someone with big fat hands like myself. Uh, so if we could have new Joy-Con 1 colors, because I love to customize my console and I know a lot of people that do, so more Joy-Con colors, but also shape. If we could get something 
bigger, you know, something that fills out the palm of your hand around the side of the switch. I mean, it could be an optional thing, keeping the switch as a portable thing, obviously with the smaller Joy-Cons, but also giving that option for people like me who have big meaty hands and want something a little bigger in their hands and more comfortable uh, on the go. At number two on the list is something that's pretty much common sense, but I think it needs to be do dove into just a little bit, and that's more third-party support. Okay, the Switch is up in the 40 million unit sold range, and it's under three years old. It has outsold the Xbox One in under three years. It is a hit. It is a smash hit. These developers and publishers cannot continue to ignore it. It is the second biggest seller behind the PlayStation 4. It's time for these other developers, these other publishers to get on board. Like EA need to bring some of the Battlefield series over, the Star Wars games over. I want the Fallen Order. I want Fallen Order on the Switch. I'll buy it again on the Switch if you put Fallen Order on the Switch. You know, Battlefield, all those things, Madden, it, the Switch needs Madden, Madden 21, whatever it's going to be, it's time for them to get on board. And especially with things like Activision, Call of Duty should be on the Switch. If, you, if they have the time to develop Call of Duty Mobile for phones, they've got time to make it for the Nintendo Switch with a very big install base. With that said, I'm moving into number one. And number one is a no-brainer for a lot of Nintendo fans. But I still, I want it in 2020. And that is Zelda Breath of the Wild 2. Not only am I saying that I want the game in 2020, but there's leaks and rumors that the game could possibly have co-op. And as know, you guys know me on this, this channel, I love co-op. I love split screen, local co-op, sitting on, on the couch, playing through a whole game together. I love it. I love that. That is what got me into gaming in the first place back in the 90s. Yes, I'm old, but that is how I, I game. That is my choice of gaming. Fortnite just recently added split screen to the, the PS4 and Xbox One versions of Fortnite. Uh, that's amazing. I love that. I needed to give that a little, uh, little shout out here in this video. But anyways, back to my business. Zelda 2. Zelda Breath of the Wild 2. I want that game next year. I want it in 2020 because I, I we, we've had Zelda Breath of the Wild for a while now. People have played it over and over and over again, including myself. It never gets old, but I still want something new. I want the co-op Breath of the Wild. That sounds amazing to me. With all that said, guys, this is my top five things that I would want from the Nintendo Switch in 2020. Do you agree with me? Do you disagree? If you, whichever way, it doesn't matter, let me know down in the comments section whether you like it or you don't, or you agree, or maybe you want to add something. Throw it down in the video. Maybe I can make a video out of it later. Um, I appreciate you guys. Leave it down in the comments section. Whatever you got to say, I'm always checking. I'm always looking into it. Um, I got a Star Wars video I'm working on, and it's going to be up soon. I don't know when but soon. Uh, I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you for watching the channel. Thank you for watching the videos. Like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff, and get your friends on the channel. Join the community, and I will see you in the next one. Merry Christmas.